First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to this channel and watching. I appreciate the effort it takes to watch these things, and some are a little cringeworthy, obviously, since I'm not a professional. But I put a ton of time into making these, writing them, scripting them, shooting them, and editing them. And I got a ton of money tied up in gear. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this to help you become better. So help me out. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. Tell all your goalie buddies about this channel. I'm doing this to help you. You help me get me to 10,000 subscribers. It's not gonna make me a fortune. It might just help cover some of the costs of production and paying the people that help appear in these videos. Subscribe. Steve, can you grab Max's diaper change for me? All right, no problem. Anything for you, honey. Hey, Max, how are you? Oh, what do you got in here? What do you got in here? <laughs> <laughs> Today, we've got some great crease movement drills for you involving the RVH and up on your feet. We've got a drill where the guy purposely misses the net short side, which happens sometimes in the game on point shots. And we're also gonna go through in a detailed way some advanced, super elite professional tips that you can try on breakaways here and there. You may get burnt or you may be a hero of the game. Today, we're gonna give you some tips that NHLers do from time to time. So Josh, today we wanted to talk about some strategies that you can use time to time on breakaways to try to mess up the shooter and get him away from his go-to move. So let's first talk about what is his go-to move. Most guys have moves they love to do on breakaways. They've been rewarded in the past and they want to keep doing it. And they have backup plans and several moves below that. They don't all have the same type of efficiency and success, so normally they like to go to the go-to. And at the NHL, we scout that, so we know what all the NHL guys' go-to moves are. I don't want you doing these little tricks all the time, but this happens in the NHL quite frequently where goalies try to get the guy off the go-to move into his second, third, fourth options. Some things that we can do, we can do the fake poke check, where he thinks a poke's coming. It's like living with somebody without being married, no commitment. Because even if you don't get a reaction out of him on the fake poke, you still have your pads there to stay with the play. Another strategy we can use from time to time is that lazy early poke check. Now sometimes they could pop it through your knees, whatever, but at the end of the day, it steers them early and it sometimes throws them off what they wanna to try to do. And another area that we can get into, we can talk about Marc-Andre Fleury. He's exceptional at this on breakaways. To steer a guy away that he knows loves five hole, on the retreat, he'll do a dynamic VH where he closes off that five hole and then moves accordingly and see if it steers the guy away from it. I've even seen Marc-Andre Fleury on a breakaway just early butterfly on purpose to steer the guy one way or the other because he's got such good backside recovery skills. So those are some tips you can use on breakaways. Am I asking you to do them eight times out of 10? No, one out of 10, two out of 10 maybe, just to keep the guy honest. And from time to time, you can also maybe drop your glove a little bit like uh, a guy named Patrick Waugh used to do or make the five hole a little bigger. These little herky-jerky games, I don't want it to be a foundation of your game. I want it to be a feature of your game, not a bug. And be able to use it to throw the guy off so he's not always going to his go-to move. Let's do three more, three more. Two more, really exaggerate it. Two more. Last one. Try coming on the next three straight up the middle. We're gonna do three more of those, straight up the middle. And all, let's do all deeks, all deeks, right up the middle, all deeks. Yeah, perfect. Two more just like that. Two more just like that. Okay, last one. 
Last one. Here we go. Clear that out of the way there, man. Great save. Last one. Last one. Atta boy. All right, Josh, quite often pucks miss the net, short side. A lot of times it's done on purpose. So you gotta be able to get over there if he misses the net. Nice battle, good battle, good cover. Nice. Three more. All right, two more, two more. All right, last one, last one. All right. All right, same thing opposite side, Josh. All right, short side mistrail off the blocker. Here we go. Good battle, good, good decision to stay down on that. Find it, find it. All right, nice job. Good job, Josh. That's a good fake. That was a fake, right, Josh? Three more. Ready to get solid. Two more. Last one. Last one. All right, Josh, let's get some crease movements in to start. Drill number one. I'm gonna have you out on the right angle. I want you to bang a knee drive and then back to this post in the RVH and then return back up on your feet. All right, let's get five in. Here we go. Get out there, get out there. Four more. All right, last one. All right, excellent. Ready, hard butterfly, RVH, hinge, long one, long one, get out there. 
Hard butterfly. RVH hinge. Long one, long one. Get out there. Keep going. Two more. Long one, long one. Long one. One more set. One more set. Nice. Excellent job. All right. Okay, now. And last one. Good job. Hard butterfly. Back your feet and up. Yep, four more. Three more. Last one. Good job. All right, catch your breath. Hard butterfly. Up. Long one, long one. Hard butterfly. Long one. Long one. One more set. All righty. Nice. All right. Post to post. But as you're detaching off the post, look over your right shoulder. And then once you get halfway, then you look over your left shoulder. So you're going to go post to post as quick as you can five times. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Yep. Forget to look. That's it. Excellent, excellent, and catch your breath. All right, and then the next variation of this, we're gonna do it like Tuka Rask, where you do the exact same thing, but it's RVH to RVH, and you're still looking over your shoulder, checking your mirrors, just like you did when you're up on your feet. So, RVH to RVH. Yeah, get her going, get her going, get her going. Good pushing, good pushing. Nice, two more. Last one. Excellent job, Josh. Catch your breath. All right, Josh. Jack Campbell has had an amazing start to his career with the Toronto Maple Leafs, finishing off last season and then this year, full value. Been playing great. And you know why he does it? He's a skilled kid, obviously, but he's a high character. He's a high emotionally intelligence type of a guy. And think about it. The other night, the wall kid played his backup because Mrazic's hurt. What does Jack Campbell do the next day on Instagram? He posts a story congratulating his backup goalie. Now, I know a lot of you out there aren't really big fans of your backup, and there's an informal, quiet competition and maybe a little karma happening because you hope your partner doesn't do well. That's not Jack. He's high character, always has been when I coached him when he was little. And that comes from his family. And I think as a scout, we look for that in every goalie we try to find. We want the next Jack Campbell, and you should model yourself after his character and his approach. You've seen him on the ice many times, tapping pads, helping out teammates, smiling, and in the press conferences after, if he doesn't feel he plays well, he takes ownership for what happened during the game. He's not a blame guy, he's a team guy. He's a guy that supports his partner. He's got great character, and not surprisingly, he's playing great for the Leafs. He's one of the best Leaf goaltenders in the last 10 years. Great job, Jack, and study Jack. Have the character, like Jack Campbell.